Roberta Flinnicky Penensky. Here. Marilyn Donahue. Here. Betty Ackley. Here. Marcus Savalio. Present. Uh, Dean Decker. Here. Rose Phillips. Here. Trey Mitchell. Here. Jim Boren. Here. And then uh, Chair Sorensen is here as well. All right. All right. So for those that are uh, in the council chambers, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Public forum. Is there anyone from the public wishing to speak tonight? And any items on the agenda? Anyone? wishing to speak tonight. All right, seeing none, um, we'll move the, for the minutes from our last meeting in June. Is there a minute, a uh, motion to approve the minutes from June 15th? Move to approve. There's been a motion by Marcus, is there a second? Second. Second by Dean. Second. Any discussion on the minutes from our previous meeting? Seeing none, all those in favor of approving the minutes, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Aye. 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 Chair votes aye. The minutes are approved unanimously. Thank you, everybody. All right, so we got a few items on the agenda regarding the budget um, for tonight. So we'll jump right along. 3.1 RO number 82-2021 by the finance director submitting the 2021 budget adjustments related to resolution number 103-2021 by Elder Persons Donahue and Sorensen, establishing the 2021 budget appropriations in the 2020 tax salary for the use during the calendar year. Anyone have any comments or questions regarding this first item? I'm, I'm going to suggest that you may wish, just for uh, clarity's sake, you may wish to take up each of the items. Uh, there's going to be uh, three motions, but they will cover each of the items together. What? Okay. So we'll take up all the items on the agenda at once then. Um, so that includes items 3.1, 3.2, 3 3.3, 3 3.3, and 3.4. Move to adopt the resolutions. So I've, I've forwarded to uh, Alderperson Sorensen a, uh, a list of motions, uh, including amendments. And yep. so uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to suggest uh, those, I, since Alder Sorensen is the only one with them, I'll leave it up to you, Alder Sorensen, if you want me to read them or if you want to sure, I, I got make them. those. So just for parliamentary procedure, we'll make a motion to approve first. Is there a second? Second. And there, there's a second. All right. So the amendment that we need to make um, is to amend RC number 164, 2021, as to incorporate each outlined, each change outlined in RO number 82 2021. Move to amend. All right, there's been a, a motion to amend. Is second. there a second? And then there's a second. Any discussion on that specific RC? What are we doing? Alders Folio? Yeah, what, what is this regard? Like, what is the change that's being made here? Uh, we'll give that to Marty. Excellent question, Mark, because I was just waiting for someone to ask the question. Um, so what I'll do is I'll go through each of the changes that took place from what your uh, budget summary document looked like and what we are proposing uh, for changes. Uh, as discussed at the previous Finance and Personnel Committee meeting on October 12th, uh, there was discussion around moving a um, fire department uh, employee from the general fund and over to the ambulance fund. So the administration uh, portion of that uh, individual salary uh, is a reduction on the general fund of $157,190. It's an increase of $157,190 on the special revenue ambulance fund. And it's also a reduction of the uh, cost share uh, expense, the internal transfer from the ambulance fund to the general fund of the $157,190, um, as well as a reduction of the revenue on the general fund for the internal transfer coming from the ambulance fund 
uh, into the general fund. So therefore, the net effect of all of those changes really is zero on the special revenue side. Uh, on the expenditure side, on the general fund, you'll see a reduction of $157,190. That's ultimately what the uh, committee and council have to approve is the expenditure side, not the revenue. So therefore, uh, you see a reduction on the expenditures and general fund. Um, when it comes to the uh, other changes, there were some um, changes made to the revenues related to our video service provider. Uh, the state of Wisconsin provided us an update of the uh, dollar amount of those revenues. So those revenues uh, amounted to 54,692 uh, being adjusted on the general fund as an increase. Uh, again, that really does not flow through your approvals as that's a revenue line item. Uh, there also is a decrease of 53,909 of revenues on the special revenue side of it for uh, related to the uh, cable, cable TV fund. Uh, that also is the video service provider. Uh, part of what's happening there is as the franchise fees are being reduced, the state of Wisconsin is offsetting those and we run the offsetting revenue, shared revenue uh, through the general fund and not through the special revenues. Uh, we also are seeing a, an increase in the special revenue uh, line item related to taxes for the uh, library uh, following some discussion with uh, city administrator uh, Wolf and uh, Mead library director Erickson it was um, determined to increase the library special revenue uh, levy by twenty five thousand three hundred thirty three dollars uh, an offset of that levy was placed uh, with the transit uh, fund uh, by that same $25,333, which is part of the uh, proprietary funds, but yet overall in our levy, we did not see a total increase in our levy. Uh, the transit fund, uh, the reason there's no change on the revenue side in the transit is because their all offsetting adjustment was made through the uh, federal, federal uh, grant uh, supporting. Uh, so therefore, their revenue did not uh, change overall. This was just a increase of the levy on the special revenue and a decrease of the levy on the, the transit. Uh, and then we have uh, one final or uh, two other changes. One was a decrease in principal and interest through our debt service. As we chewed up some numbers, uh, we had a reduction of $53,182 of principal and interest payments due in 2021. And then the largest change of the evening uh, is a change to increase the overall contingency of the city of Sheboygan and increase it by $600,000. The concept behind that uh, request to increase that is to maximize our expenditure restraint program. Therefore, our general fund uh, overall reduction or use of fund balance is being budgeted at just over $2 million. The $2 million $8,787, and of that, $1 million is considered contingency. Uh, the, again, the concept there is to not, not lose expenditure restraint uh, program benefit for future years, uh, and our strong intention is to not utilize that contingency. Uh, last year, uh, it was put in at 400000 and this year it's put in at a $1 million. Uh, and this really comes to play with how our budget was built uh, with large uh, increase in net new construction, uh, as well as uh, the use of a lot of the expenses related to training, uh, other COVID pandemic. I mean, that's one area where this million dollars could get potentially used in 2021, is really we have no idea where this pandemic could go. Um, but certainly our, our goal is to utilize all the dollars uh, within the budgets as, as they were presented and not touch the contingency. So the net effect of all of these changes would lead us to that $2 million deficit on the general fund. Uh, the other uh, impact that I know was discussed at the finance and personnel on October 12th was the overall full budget, which we are at this point uh, budgeting a $6,954,561 deficit. And as discussed at the Finance and Personnel Committee meeting, uh, that is a big part of that is due to the timing of, as we just uh, discussed during the special uh, committee that ended, um, 
related to the advance refunding of our, our note anticipation notes for TID-18. Those funds are being received in 2020, so it's revenue in 2020, with payout in 2021, so an expense there. So you've got 10, 10 and a half million or $11 million coming in in, in 2020 with $10.5 million going out in 2021. So that creates that timing swing between the two years. Uh, personnel changes are also reflected uh, in this budget. So we did, as I mentioned, we're moving one FTE from the um, fire department general fund over to the ambulance fund 280. Uh, also in reduction was the Mead Public Library page supervisor, one FTE being removed. That's the updates in brief. All right. Thanks, Marty, for the update. Any further questions on the amendment? Any other questions? All right, seeing none, we'll move on the amendment that was made uh, for RC number 164-2021. All those in favor of approving the amendment, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed to the amendment? Chair votes aye on the amendment. The amendment is approved. Now back to the main motion is amended for RC number 164. Any other questions on 164 as amended? All right, seeing none, all those in favor of approving 164, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed, please state nay. Chair votes aye, that is approved. All right, now I'm looking for a motion to accept and file RC number 165, 166, and RO 82, 2021. Move to, so moved. Second. Any further discussion on ROs or RCs number 165, 166 and RO number 82-2021. Seeing none, all those in favor, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed, chair votes aye. Those items are approved. All right. So seeing that we've exhausted the agenda, is there a motion to adjourn? Move to adjourn. I got a, I've got a question, uh, Ryan. Um, sorry, um, adjournment is not debatable, so there's been a motion and then there's a second. Um, all those in favor of adjourning, please state aye. 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 Anyone aye. opposed? Chair votes aye. We are adjourned hey, at 6 hey, I didn't, 32. Hey, I didn't get to ask my question. Adjournment is not debatable, Jim, so you're going to have to ask it after the meeting. <laughs> well, you, you sorry, said, we're adjourned. You said, uh, you...